All right, so that was the total row. Now this button right here in our table style options, we have banded rows. Basically, if I have that checked, you can see my table is banded. Every other row is light blue, or I could say every other row is white. If I, un if I uncheck that box, now I don't have any banded rows. It's pretty simple. First column, if I check this first column box, all the text within the first column of my table is bold. If I uncheck it, it's the same as all, all the text within the entire table. All right, last column, same concept. Last column, all text is bold. Banded columns. It's kind of like banded rows, except it's banded columns. Now I'll un. I'll uncheck the banded rows box so you can get a better idea. Alright, so you can see every other column is a light blue. <clears throat> and finally we have this filter button. These right here are sort and filter drop down buttons. If I go ahead and uncheck that, I don't have those available. But if I check it, they're available. All right, um, navigating through a table is pretty simple. A few things that are different. If you use the tab button, you know, normal worksheet, it just keeps going to the right within the row. Here, I get to the end of my table. If I hit tab, it, it moves down to the very next row the first cell in the very next row within the table so basically hitting tab stays in my table <clears throat> and a worksheet to just keep going to the right but it doesn't here okay um, different ways to select select uh, cells or a range of cells within your table when I move my mouse around you can see that it changes shapes I get over to the edge, I have some uh, kind of like a four, like a cross four arrows, <coughs> cross of arrows. Right here I have a right arrow, I have a down arrow, here I have a diagonal down right arrow. Over here in the very bottom I have a double diagonal arrow. Okay, so my uh, right arrow when I'm over here in the very left border of the table will select an entire row. Alright, I can do that again. Select an entire row. Select this row. That's what that right arrow does. It appears whenever you're at the very left of your table. Alright, if you have crosshairs, because that row is selected and I have those crosshairs, I basically just carried that row down and replaced it. I can do this again. I can carry it down and move it in the table. Um, let's do the down right arrow. I select the entire table except the column headers with the down right arrow. Alright, we have a down arrow. I select the columns. It's just like the right arrow is selecting the rows except it's selecting columns. <clears throat> and then when I have those crosshairs there and I click them my entire table is selected. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add new columns and rows to tables. Um, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is start typing data in a cell that's adjacent to the table. In a column or a row that's right next to the table, if I enter in data, it's going to add a new, new column or row to my table. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let's say I want to do price per square foot. So right here in the cell, I'm just going to enter a formula. You could enter anything and it's going to add a new row. I'm going to enter a formula because that would actually be useful to this table. So equals list price divided by square footage. Once I hit enter, a new column is going to be added. And there you go. I have a new column added. And that formula was carried all, all the way down. 
and it's accurate because this formula is it's uh, relatively related to the cells. All right, <clears throat> up here you can see that my column header is named column one. It's generic. Excel adds a generic name. You're going to come in here and you would replace the name square or price per square foot. All right. Um, I can use the down arrow instead of to select the entire <clears throat> the entire column, and then I can go ahead and remove all those decimals. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I can click that down arrow. I'm going to format these to currency and remove decimals. Okay, the same thing happens down here if you want to start adding new um, new listings. Here, I don't even have to add that. I'll say workman. I can, and there, I have a column added. Then I can continue entering in data. But I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and undo the do what I just did. Another way to uh, add columns is down here to the very right. It makes it very easy to re to add uh, columns or rows or to resize your table. You have this resize handle at the very bottom right of your table. You just hold your cursor over there. You have the diagonal double arrows. You click on it and you can drag your table to the right. You can add new columns. You can drag your table down and add new rows. And it's going to carry this formula down as well. So that's another way. <clears throat> and then one other way to add some columns is you can just click and click on a cell within your table. You're going to right click and you're going to have the shortcut menu. Here's the insert button and then you're going to have an option to either um, add columns to the left or add table rows above. So right here I can add a row. Again right click. I can add a column. Okay if I go over here to the end I'm going to have more options. Now I can add columns to the left or to the right. If I go to the bottom, right click, insert, I can add rows above or below the column. And if I come to the very bottom right cell, I'll have all four options available to me. Column to the left, column to the right, add a row above, add a row below. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and delete these rows and columns because we don't need them so I'll show you how to delete rows um, just select this cell right click delete or, or select that row right click delete you can do multiple rows select all of those right click delete and now to the very bottom select all these rows right click and delete and that's how you delete different delete rows and columns from tables <clears throat> okay you can also move your table and it's pretty easy you just need to select your entire table now you can select your entire table like that but it gets kind of annoying as you can see you can select your entire table just like this or you can look for those uh, those crosshairs and select your entire table. Now, hold your cursor over any of the borders of your table, anywhere, here, to the left, any border, click, and you can drag your table and move it, and it's going to move everything. The formatting, the formulas, the data, will be moved wherever you want. <clears throat> Let's move it back up. So there, now you know how to move it. All right, now the most useful part of tables is, you know, sorting and filtering your data. Okay, if you're going to want to, if you're going to want to filter or to sort your data, you're going to sort each column least important first 
and then your most important column, last.